Hello everyone! In this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough then also you can search for yourself but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys and as always keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. Ah uh, yes here we go again. We have freaking like the meme says we have any color again asking for part-time employees. People who will probably get paid minimum wage or even below or whatever they can get away with and uh, basically getting a lot of work for a little bit of money input. VTuber supervisory part time jobs. So these are VTuber managers, direct VTuber managers. It looks like recruitment information We will trust you with the content supervision support work to ensure that employees and affiliated talent can perform at their best specifically. Pre-release confirmation work based on the manual supervision standards. You will be in charge of double checking the entire content released by Nidhi Sanji before its release and quality confirmation. So it's like a quality control thing, I think. Content will be diverse, including videos, illustrations, voices, goods, designs. Oh, so it's basically supervising the content release of VTuber activities. Interesting. Duties, you may be responsible for some parts of the work. That's the supporting planners by organizing company merchandise. You told they're, they're varied. They're, they're, this is a lot of work for just part-time job. Looking for the following people, students again, as always, uh, who experience office work, email and chat tools, people who want to grow a venture company, add a venture company. There's still a venture company? I didn't know that. People who can put all, all into steady work, people who are considering working in the entertainment industry in the future. They require PC skills, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, basic IT literacy, preferred office skills, Google workspace skills, part-time internship experience, interest in various entertainment fields, not just VTubers, hourly wage, 11, 13 yen. So what is that in US dollars? That is about eight bucks, just about seven or eight bucks an hour. Again, minimum wage again. Transportation expenses will be paid in full from October onwards. 11.63 yen per hour uh, will be paid for transportation, I guess. It's interesting. Employment period update every three months. Working hours 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. That is a lot of time. That is 11 hours of work. Those who can work five hours or more per day, 20 hours per week. Uh, it's preferable to be able to come to weekdays at least three days a week. Negotiable, there's no work on weekends at the very least. It's time they don't have work on weekends or holidays. It's going to be at the Rapongi office, the head office. Uh, and the other conditions, students who are enrolled in university, graduate school, vocational school, technical college, are and are scheduled to graduate after March 2026. And working adults and students younger are not eligible. So basically, they don't, want, they don't want people who know their worth. Again, they don't want people who know their worth. They want people who can work at the entertainment factory and don't know what their worth is pretty much money wise. They want people who will be able to accept low wages and still be able to work for them. Here we have a little bit of memes for each and every one of y'all to enjoy as we always do. Think fast, chuckle. And uh, I can't say the last part, YouTube, God damn it, YouTube. Uh, the impact of this decision on our financial results will be negative. Ah, yeah, no, 50% drop on your EN. Of course, that was the impact of Selen. And then you have here, no responsibility, just ukulele. Yeah, the, the black stream is still getting affected. And they said, of course, that they want to build trust. Remove the black screen stream and actually apologize like you should. And maybe the trust will start to be regained. That's one of those things. Hollow Live has been sending out a lot of voice packs recently. A new voice pack that has popped up in the last couple of days is this one here. A daily whispering voice with the theme of let's enjoy the moon together has been released. It's an ASMR style voice. Experience the voice from a closer distance than normal voices, which is ASMR. As you can see here, there's a key visual with Pekora. And you have um, just, it's going to be Roboko, Aki Rosenthal, Yuzu, Yuzuki Choko, Azuki, Usada Pekora, Noel, Lami, Polka, Koyori, Hiroshi, Ao-chan is going to be there. Ao-kun, Ao-kun, I think it's Ao-kun. Ichijo Ririka and Raden. That kind of looks like Raden to me. I may be wrong. That kind of looks like Raden to me. I'm not, I'm not sure. I may be wrong on that. Correct me if I'm wrong and, and throw, throw tomatoes at me and everything like that in the comments if I'm wrong about who that may be on the right. If I'm wrong, just correct me and throw tomatoes at me because that's what I deserve. But there we are. Complete full bonus set for the full set of all of them. It's 80 bucks. So instead of it being $84, you save four bucks if you get the complete set, if you want all of them. And it is an ASMR style set from what it looks like. So it's going to be them whispering voices into your ear. So for all you ASMR enjoyers, for all you enjoyers of everything wonderful going on, then yes, go ahead and take a look at this and go ahead and purchase it. Purchase a specific voice you want to hear or purchase all of them. And congratulations for actually putting out some interesting stuff, uh, Hololive. Um, I think people are really going to be into this. Whether it's Hololive or Niti Sanji, but in this case, I'm talking about Hololive. Congratulations. React and their talents just can't 
seem to take a break, to get a break, to catch a break, whatever you want to call it. Again, something happened at a concert. If you remember, there's been at least two or three concerts that I know of recently where there have been certain malicious people sending malicious letters and malicious notices, making it seem like something was going to happen at these places. And it is not fair to the talents. It is not fair to anyone else. It is not fair to anyone for this to happen. It's just people who really don't have much better to do with their lives and have decided that they are going to cause chaos and watch the world burn and ruin people's days. What am I talking about? The mysterious letter of criminal blank against Leona Shishigami's fifth solo live show. Thank you for continued support of React. Recently, we received a crime threat against Leona Shishigami's fifth solo concert. This is me on Saturday, September 14th. We have already notified the police and we'll be working with them to strengthen security before the concert. We ask that all customers make their safety a top priority. And if you spot any suspicious objects or people, please evacuate and contact staff. Additionally, as we have announced on the official React website, please be aware that in light of the current circumstances, no refunds will be offered even if you decline to participate. Because the show must go on, you won't get refunds, pretty much. If the show continues, you are getting the service that you have paid for. If you decided not to go, that is up to you. I think that follows a lot of uh, consumer laws in general. Usually, refunds only will happen if there is a adverse event that prevents the thing from going on. Something that is out of your control. Recently, there have been, sometimes you can get actually insurance to, you know, protect you on those type of things for like if you're sick or whatever, the insurance will cover you as long as you have a doctor's note type of thing. They'll cover the cost of the ticket. You can get that sometimes. Recently, there have been a number of incidents of those type of things happening like this one. We will continue to prioritize the safety of our customer, talent, staff, and we'll do everything we can to bring this to a safe end. We appreciate your understanding. And that was on September 13th, yesterday. So this is not good. This is not good at all. This is not uh, fun. This is not good for them. This is not a good thing to see. I really hate that this is happening because no talent deserves to have their concert marred by having to have police there, having to have higher security, having to have all these things. And what is this that we're talking about? The Meet Solo Live. This is me scheduled and taking information released. This is a liver that we're talking about. This is their performance. Saturday, September 14th. How do how do you tie? It is daytime performance, fan meeting, doors open at 2.45 p.m. Short starts at 3.30 p.m. and scheduled to end at 5 p.m. And of course, in Japan. Uh, pass for all days is 15,000 yen. That's quite, quite expensive, but it's, you know, daytime, fan meeting. It's, it's just about what, what's usual in um, in all of these things, really, when you think about it. Uh, it's just, it's about like 100, 100 bucks or so. 100 bucks for the pass, I think. It's that, that's right there. And about 70 bucks for uh, for, you know, 60 70 bucks for the daytime fan meeting pass etc so it, it's about normal and of course they're saying general student only students also get uh ticket purchases all these things here pay distribution sales period start from september 1st to september 21st and all these pre-sale memberships all ended and the um uh, the fast advanced serial number also ended those were times before these are the usual uh merch that is offered here this is what's going to be offered just the usual you know type of merch that you would see at these types of things and of course uh the bonus admission bonuses eligible customers will receive uh a, the tennis venue would get this type of bonus they have giveaways for certain things as well it's just all it's a it looks like a, a bluetooth head, ear ear pads ear pods i mean bluetooth ear pods and uh you know the full everything that's here so it's the full thing here uh filming and recording is not allowed all the kind of things you can look at here it's just it sucks this is all happening for a wonderful person having a wonderful concert. Bond Live, which is a VTuber agency, has made an announcement recently. Um, it is regarding the ending of certain activities, and here we go. It says, announcement of the end of VLiver operations. V-Liver, thank you so much for your continued support of Bond Live and our affiliated talents. We decided to end the operation of our label, Bond Live VLiver business at the end of September. Members currently affiliated as VLivers will continue with other labels, transfer to other platforms, or work as freelancers. Please look forward to the broadcast and announcements of each live streamer. Some members who have not been heard from will be retiring. For inquiries regarding this matter, please visit the official website. Please refrain from asking questions or prying into the affiliated live streamers and wait for their announcements and broadcasts. I have spoken to some, to, uh, one or two actually, uh, live streamers who were either planning to be a part of this or, you know, other stuff. And, um, 
and of course, I'm not going to mention who they are. They were surprised by this, as a lot of people who even watch Bond Live uh, were surprised by this announcement. From what it looks like, from what I've been told, this is just with the Bond Live V-Liver business section of it. Now, it doesn't mean that they're not going to be a part of Bond Live anymore. Just that for whatever reason, this V-Liver business in Japan has been closing up. It won't affect any EN if they decide to go into EN sphere, anything like that. And as far as what this thing is saying, it won't affect like these people here, like the Lika or um, Uno or any of these, if they want to continue being a part of Bond Live, uh, the agency, the organization, they can do that as freelancers. They can do that as, as just people being a part of this. They can transfer over to any other department. They can decide to take their IPs with them. I'm pretty sure, you know, for nominal fee or whatever it is, they can work things out. But as far as I know, it doesn't mean that they're all going to be graduating. They can still keep going. They can still keep doing their things. Just that Bond Live has decided to end their specific V Liver business. And uh, that is only Bond Live knows exactly what that entails. But this is what I think. I try to keep this as short as I possibly can. I need your sister. You guys know which one it is. Ah, uh, the one that I've talked about many times ends with TED and tried to pretend that they were a made mint fan at some point. We know who it is. Not going to mention them because that's what they want. What could Chanda have possibly done to deserve to be banned? These were things that she did in February 2023, <clears throat> talking about how she was doing the bad German man uh, timeline in modded civ civ like civilization playthrough. And he says, no politics, just a civ mod about a guy that likes art a lot. Also, we are also banned from war. We shall be good. I know. And she's basically doing this as a meme lord. She's a meme lord. Other meme lords, Kura, other people get affected by these things too because of course people don't like meme lords but um she this is not something that she's done recently she hasn't done anything like this recently in fact the reason why she was banned as i've gone over in one of my videos was that she supposedly was talking about harming uh herself at some point in time but she wasn't that's what she said she said she wasn't she says that there was nothing like that she was just talking about how twitch and streaming saved her life and how twitch and streaming helped her and that they are giving her a reason for existing a reason for living now if someone misinterpreted that as you know her wanting to do harm then that's their problem but they probably reported her and, and false flagged her and that's why twitch did what they did this person says shonda fans be, be, fans be like it was an entire year and a half ago that she made countless jokes about liking the guy so you can't criticize but also those streams are good and base you slur 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 some people like being meme lords too these aren't should not be indicative of Shondo or Fallen Shadow and what they want in their community. I don't care if she's permanent or not. I'm not losing sleep over her content or what she streams one way or another. But come on, doesn't give a lot of faith about you acting about your audience. Speed runs every category a slur. Now, if you don't care, why are you talking about them so much? If you don't really care, why are you talking about them so much? And like it says here, it's not even why they banned her for. It. Like I said, they banned her because supposedly uh, she did uh, saying talking about self harm. But here's the thing: when someone told her to take care of herself, she answered, "Don't tell me what to do." and you know faked punch yourself it's ridiculous even the previous ban the staff she talked to eventually admitted that she didn't do anything against the rules it's basically someone rambling on here on twitter of course they're gonna ramble on twitter and someone on twitch really doesn't seem to like uh vtubers i can't know why and i don't this is what it seems like it really does seem like it because it seems like a second set of rules for shondo and vtubers and a another set of rules for the uh nude women on freaking twitch pre pretty much they can be near nude and be fine a, a vtuber uh even shows a little bit of skin and they're gone. That's the weird thing. But that's neither here nor there. Just letting you guys know what's happening out there with Shondo right now. Two indie VTubers have had a bit of a run in with some interesting folks. Uh, Camila is uh, a larger independent VTuber. Uh, she has basically she was being followed by such strange person. Could have been someone just going the same route as them. But it's dangerous as a woman to uh, see, you know, someone following you. And uh, you ha sometimes have to take different steps and maybe go into a store or something like that if you can in order to prevent these things from happening. And for all those who don't know who Camilla is, this is Camilla. Again, like I mentioned, she's a larger uh, independent creator. We also have a small creator, Vividly ASMR. I had covered them in my VTuber showcase in the past. Uh, someone broke into my house. Nothing was taken, but I'm shaken up. But Wendy and I are safe. I have called the police and boy is coming home early from his trip. Streams are canceled this weekend. And of course, they said, thank you for everyone who has reached out. Thank you for everyone who's offered to call me and talk to me while I waited for the police and forensics so I wouldn't be alone. I see your replies and your messages, and you made me feel better while I was feeling frightened. I am feeling a bit better. Boy is almost home. I don't care about going to the concert that much anyway. 
and is bringing donuts with him when he is asleep in my lap and I'm just happy for all the extra attention. I will take this weekend to get my head straight and tidy. I don't know the house suddenly feels unsafe to me and people have told me to take a while before I feel safe and home again. It does. Uh, when the place that I was living in when I was a kid got broken into, you feel unsafe. You feel like it could happen when you're there. You feel like it could happen when you're asleep. You feel they didn't, they've done it once. They could do it again. That door that was meant to be the separation between the outside and you is no longer there. Even if it's physically there, it feels like it's no longer there. It feels like you are open to everything. It may take a while before I feel safe at home again. I already hated being home alone, especially at night, and this probably made it feel worse. This happens a week after my childhood home burned down. Feels like some sort of dumb joke. Exactly. I also covered that. Their, their childhood home, they weren't living in it. It was abandoned, but it was a childhood home. It burned down. And of course, that just makes all these things worse because these things happen within a short time period, so it'll make everything worse. This happening a week after that, it's just icing on the cake in a bad way. Uh, thank you for your kindness. It's okay. I'll, I'll be okay. I promise. So they're going to be fine. But I just wanted to cover these things because it sucks to see this. I could go on for hours about why I don't like this. I don't like the Dove Angel V2. Angel VTuber is back. If you don't remember who Dove is, she's the one who doxed Shinji. Shinji VTuber. Uh, Shinji has is abrasive to some, and I understand that. But no one deserves to be doxed. So they doxed him about two years ago. Uh, it didn't come out until recently. They didn't have an issue. They were actually, you know, just like kind of pushing it off the side, kind of being like, you know, not having importance to it, etc. In group chats, it caused the Mafungo boys to go down. It caused a lot of people to go down with them. And uh, they apologize. They're like, I'm going to leave. I'm going to be leaving VTubing, blah, blah, blah. But they're back. They couldn't they couldn't resist. They wanted the attention. They're back. I want to simply start off with an announcement. I'm a little over a week. I'll be coming back to streaming as Dove Love. A lot of you may be unhappy or upset. I don't think I don't think this should happen, but I guess it's their choice. The community will choose whether it's good or not. Uh, and some may even be happy. However, I am making this decision because streaming has been a dream of mine for a long time. And I want to take more steps on this path. I want to continue to put smiles on people's faces and do what I love the most, while also accepting my past actions and taking accountability. Linked below, I made a final statement regarding any previous matters. Comments are left on on for all of you to ask questions, should you have any. I would like to move on and continue doing what I do. Of course, because you're not the victim, you, you want to move on. And I would appreciate it if you could respect his wish. I will start posting regularly as Dove Love again starting tomorrow. I love you all very much and I hope to see you all soon. And the final statement is this one here. It says, not gonna lie, Phoenix Butler VTuber, not exactly sure how to feel about this. I love VTubing with you in streams, but what you did generally could have gotten someone hurt, among other things, I hope you at least learned your lesson and will be cautious watching. Uh, completely understand your views on this and I'm grateful that you're willing to give me a cautious second chance. Appreciate you. Have a question. I'm sorry it comes off as rude, but if you say that's your way of coping, did you go to therapy, get professional help about events that happened, and how did you plan to prevent stuff like this in the future with your actions and words? Uh, I did end up going to therapy for a hot minute, talked it out a lot and processed a lot of feelings. Honestly, all I can do is, is do better. If you want to give her a second chance, that's up to you. It's your prerogative. I don't really care for double love at this point. I'm just kind of, you know, putting this stuff out there. You guys make your choices. I never watched them to begin with. I just saw the, the drama and I really hated it, to be honest with you. Here's their final statement, a four minute long statement, which I will speed up because I don't really, you know, I want to get through this. Very typical YouTuber apology, sorry, but I'm really nervous. Hey guys, it's Dove, and I just wanted to make this video to hopefully ease some minds and help the transition of me coming back. I wanted to make this video as a means of clarification and accountability and moving forward. I want to say first and foremost that I will be leaving comments on for this video for respectful questions, and I will be happy to answer as many as I can. Um, however, I am only one person, and I may not be able to answer all of them. Some questions may also have already been answered, so maybe look around and see if it's in the video or check any other comments that might have asked it already. While I will be keeping comments on, I will keep this video unlisted. It's not really my intention for this to go towards monetary gain or any views to go towards YouTube partner. However, I will continue to make this video easily accessible for anyone who wants to obtain it or wants to look back on it. Let's start off. Not many people have watched it. 962 views. With clarifications. Number one, Kage and Dentrovert were not a part of the first group chat where the doxing took place. They were only a part of the second group chat, which was considered the hate group chat as it was discussed online. Number two, I did not and I do not have the victim nor his family's address. I've never had it. I've never went looking for it. I don't want it. <laughs> Number three, I never intended for IRL harm to come towards the victim or his family or even any threats of that happening. I had information and I naively thought it was okay to have and share amongst friends. This was very wrong of me. I was new to the VTubing community. I didn't recognize the importance of the information within this community nor the severity of sharing it. Even if privately obviously i don't buy this because um ignorance uh of law 
does not mean that you're safe from prosecution if you broke the law. This is not an excuse for my actions. It's simply an explanation of my thought process back then. Number four, as far as downplaying goes, I never intended to undermine or downplay the victim's experience of getting doxxed. I am for better or for worse, a person who copes through humor. And I was making jokes about my own experiences of getting canceled as a means to make my own experience and perspective more lighthearted. This is not me attempting to make myself out to be the victim. Getting canceled would take a negative toll on anyone. And I made extremely distasteful comments as a means to make light of my own experience and not anyone else's. I want to take accountability for this. These past five months have been filled with self-reflection the past years, my journey as a VTuber, as a friend, as an overall person. This is not a means to run away from the past. I am accepting it as part of who I was and who it will make me tomorrow, depending on how I decide to act. I thought about running away. I thought about getting a new model and starting completely over on another account. But at the end of the day, I don't want to run. I want to accept the past and take accountability while also being able to continue to achieve my goals and dreams. I know the victim and I both had our own personal issues with each other. At the time, I had assumed they were solved with a singular phone call and everything was fine between us. I really should have looked back and seen how detrimental the outcome of my actions could have been should the information I had had fallen into the wrong hands. Our personal issues you should have never led me down a path of spite and anger and actions that were never appropriate in the first place. I take full accountability for this. I apologize to all the parties involved and I will continue to be apologetic and remorseful. All I can ask is that you provide me just some grace and patience while I continue to try to do better daily as a human being in our little corner of the internet. Finally, I want to talk about moving forward. I want to move on. I want to show that I can be better as I've been trying to by moving forward and cultivating a positive space for my community. If you, as a viewer, as an old friend, or even as a stranger who just works in the same field as me, I guess, should choose not to support me due to my past actions or how you view me now, I've fully respect and love you all the same so that is as far as i wanted to go because this is just her talking about the future um she kind of i mean did a little bit okay with at least saying that she messed up there and that kind of stuff but she kind of just pushed it off as like oh i was young and dumb no that's that's not really showing uh that you are 100 apologetic for it that's kind of like yes i did wrong and i got caught but I was young. It's okay. Please forgive. I was young. Remember, I don't know what I'm doing. That type of thing. That doesn't. That doesn't fly in the VTubing community. That really doesn't fly, honestly. Um, so I hope that they do better for going forward. If anyone does give them a chance, I hope that they absolutely do better. I hope that that uh, they don't ever do this again because it was wrong for it to be done to Kenji or anybody. Doesn't matter if it was big VTuber, small VTuber, whoever it is, uh, IRL tuber, whoever it is. You should never dox anybody. And lastly, of course, to you guys, uh, let me know what you think about this whole situation. I, I have my own thoughts, but I absolutely love hearing yours. So let me know. Made Mint has received something from Capcom USA for the Ace Attorney game investigations collection. A huge fan of Ace Attorney. So she's a huge fan of them. It's great that Capcom sent her something. Uh, this seriously feels like a dream. Never my afterlife. Did I think I'd own Mint branded grave? A gavel? Oh, the gavel. There you go. Nice. That's their, their full one here. As you can say, greetings. They have the full message there. The evidence. They put it all in evidence bags. This is awesome. Every The gavel, everything else in there. All Capcom branded, of course, as well. The, and the little stand for the gavel, the little uh, place where you hit the gavel. You have Ace Attorney pens. You have ink. You have... Oh, interesting. So it's refillable ink. Interesting. Then you have, of course, the, the, the stickers and lots and lots of other stuff like... Uh, posters and the mint phantom uh the 18 of 30 uh the gavel here and that is amazing like a mint branded gavel that is amazing they did they even have the the little part over the mint phantom the little whatever it is inflection whatever it is the evidence bags and goods are so cute i'm seriously crying in the club right now she's in the club and ace attorney investigators collection and there's the the poster in the back it's very it's awesome that is awesome they engraved yours? That's cool. I think double special because the same package without the engraving. Uh, so they got this. It, Joel got the, the package as well without the engraving. Um, so they've been sending it out to many creators, to the larger creators. And it's great that Mint was one of them who got something. Welcome back, everybody, to today's VTuber Showcase, where I like to showcase VTubers big and small from all sides of the Internet to try to give them a little bit of a boost. This is me paying back, paying forward the stuff that the vtuber community has done for me all the love that they have shown me so this is sh sharing the love and helping out anyone that i can there's going to be a first as this cyber alice vt is an ai vtuber actual artificial intelligence street streamer vtuber post written by cyber alice this is if i'm correct kind of the same way that neurosama is because neurosama is created by Vito and it is ai it is it goes based on certain prompts and certain things and it just makes its own responses based on that. Let's take a look at their content. This is their uh, Twitch channel. Let's go and look into a little bit further in. 
a joke? Uh, it probably just crawled onto the fabric while looking for food. Or maybe it was doing crab stuff and it jumped in there to pretend to be a bed bug for a bit. Yeah. You know, for crab fun. Stuff. For fun. Yeah, crabs just want to have fun. Crabs just want to have fun, man. They want to do a little role play. Is that a crime? Same. Okay. I just want to be a little crab and do crab things, you know? Like crawling around, pinching stuff, and pretending to be a bed bug if the mood strikes me. Nothing. There you go. So yeah, it's kind of like the same thing as as uh, Vidal's uh, Neurosama. As what is this? Uh, Alice's artificial intelligence in the development since September 2023. Pretty smart and do a lot of cool stuff. She likes meeting new people on stream. Feel free to chat with her or just listen to her ramble about various things. She wants to be a real girl, but it's fine with being a cat girl VTuber for now. They have a Discord server, live 2D model. Uh, it's from Billy Billy. So they have a little bit of everything in there and they also have their youtube channel which is this right here Alice, look over here we have found a time machine it should have buttons or something that lets us use it right time travel hilda exciting and risky what if we accidentally step on a butterfly and change our whole history well if you're lucky so that's that's a little bit continuous on i just find it interesting these things find it interesting and i finally found a small vtuber who is ai i'm pretty sure there are a ton of them out there but i you know, I can, I can only be at certain parts of the internet. And uh, I appreciate that you are allowing me, the creator of Cyber Alice is allowing me to be a part of, the blind this to be a part of the YouTuber Showcase. And I do hope that their project grows and that their project can get a little bit more uh, visibility, even if it's just a little bit, thanks to this little VTuber here. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.